Hey, what's up everybody? So today I'm going to be doing a revisit a review of my Ariat work boots. Uh, these are my cowboy boots. I know I mentioned this in a previous video. I started wearing these, I would say, I would say mid-spring last year. Uh, they are breaking in. These are one of the most, by far, the most comfortable work boot I've ever owned. That's all I gotta say. They're really comfortable. I like them a lot. I like the stitch work. Sorry. I like the stitch work a lot on the sides of the boot. And these are steel toed. These are steel toed. Definitely for sure. I've been getting a lot of compliments with them. People think they look really nice with me. And I'm gonna show you what they look like on my feet when we're done here. But we'll just go over the boots real quick. Uh, I wear a size 11 medium. I do like the wideness, but that doesn't work with these because while well, my feet, uh, they feel really big. <laughs> I'll just keep it at that. So, uh, yeah, these are pretty slick. They're really comfortable. I never, I don't want to wear them in the winter time because I don't know how that works too much. But yeah, like I said, I do like the stitch work on the sides of the boots. And this is a rubber top which is nice for some of these cowboy boots this is like hard leather and it kind of might be uncomfortable i don't know this is my first pair so well the first pair of cowboy work boots if that makes sense <laughs> all right here's the stamp on the side Ariat steel toe uh yeah so yeah by far most comfortable work boot I've owned so far, hands down. I mean, I'm probably going to have more work boots in my time, but these by far are probably most comfortable. As for the tread patterns, this one's a little dirty, but that's okay. This one looks okay on the tread, other than that little dirt spot, but I don't think that matters too much. I do like that orange thing on the bottom. I think that looks pretty cool. So, yeah, not really, like I said, with that little dirt spot. I'm not too concerned about that. As for the other boot, same deal. Uh, just some, you know, just some average wear and tear on the leather. Where it's getting a little soft, but I'm pretty sure I could get that buffed out. This one, uh, you know, same deal. Oops. There's the side. Your yacht steel toe. As for this one, this one has some more wear marks on the sole. I don't know if you'll see it on camera. And this one's a little more dirtier. I usually try to keep my boots pretty clean. But maybe it's on the other one, as I don't see it in my eyes either. Like I said, just a little dirty. Not bad. I don't know with a little manual labor. A little clean. Let me check the other one quick. Yep. Is this one so you have a little crack in the sole but that's not affecting the outcome of the boot so yeah and well just here's the box I do like keeping the original boxes for my boots because then that way I know what I have in inventory or in my possession and then here's the side This is a uh, Ariat Sierra uh, wide square toe uh, steel toe boot. It's electrical hazard compliant, which is kind of nice. Uh, the color is aged bark. There's the, uh, I think that's the serial number. Or maybe that's the barcode number, I'm not sure. But yeah, 11 medium. You know, worry about these other two numbers unless you live internationally. So in the UK, I wear a size 10. In Europe, I wear a 44 and a half because they use a different system to redo, obviously. As for the insides of the boots, I forgot to show that. Uh, you know, your average wear and tear, and as you see, the printing's coming off the insole, which is typical for that one. As for the other one, oops, 
Let me get a better grip. Yeah, your average wear and tear. Uh, this this little plate in the inside rubs against the back of my heel. Sometimes it hurts, but if you're wearing the right socks, it doesn't hurt at all. Maybe this just prevents the boots from slipping inside, you know, this little thing. And then the shaft of the boot, you know. So, average wear and tear. As for the front of the boots... Here's the actual tag, if you guys want to know this for information. They're not waterproof, but they're more so water resistant. So for those that want to know that, these are not waterproof, but they're more so water resistant, which is nice. So, which helps. It's not the same thing, but it still will do the job. It'll keep your feet dry. So, yeah, there you go. There's a... A quick review of my Ariat work boots. I still love these things. Like I said, I wear these more in the summer. Because they're easier just to slip on and off. And they're more of my go-to summer boot. Slip on and I'm ready to go. <laughs> you know, versus tying. So yeah, if you guys like this video, feel free to like it. Uh, if you don't, you know what to do. And I'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.